Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create amazing dashboard in Google Looker Studio. It shouldn't be too complex so you can follow me and create dashboard on your own. So let's get started. I've already created some sales dashboard and now the idea is to create new one from scratch and I will try for that one to be similar like this one here. So let's open new page and let's start working first i'm gonna insert my title you have two options to insert title in your report first one is to click on this text box here or you can go to insert and you will find option text here let's click on that and let's drag this and we will see our text box on this right side you will see those text properties, I will put this for example let's say 40, I will see if it's too big, I will call it sales actually it should be bigger, let's put 72 I think this will be fine for now let me see yes this should be fine so I'll put this here and after that we need to insert line you can do it by pressing this line button here and you can also just put it like this here let's place it here below Now I'm gonna change font of my title. So let's instead of this one I will choose I will type M and I'm gonna use this font. I'm gonna resize this. So now we have our title completed. Now let's start with charts. First you will see that we have some KPIs on top. So I'm gonna put all of these on top of my report. So the first one is number of orders. So let's insert that one. To insert KPI you can go to this add a chart option and you will find it in this core card section. So let's click on this first option here and place it here. So for number of orders I'm gonna use this order ID. I'm gonna place it in this metric box and then instead of count distinct I'm gonna choose just count and now I'm able to see number of orders let me see if it's correct it is indeed correct so now let's change the format let's go to style then I'm gonna click on this compact numbers and you will see now it looks better so let's now resize our card let's go to style let's put it like this so now let's change our font it will also be the same like for title so let's click on this type M and I'm gonna use this one let's change this and I'm gonna put number of orders let's press enter and now it's changed now I'm gonna resize this I'm gonna put it like that now let's copy this card and I'm gonna make five of them And now let's change those values 
in this one I'm gonna put let's say let's use total sales let me find it yes I will use total sales for that one for this one I'm gonna use total profit I could use for example for the next one I can use total quantity and for the last one I'm gonna use for example number of states Now we have our KPIs created. Next step is to format them properly. Let's do that first. First I'm gonna remove decimal place here. Let's rename them. Total sales. This one will be total profit. Next one will be, let's say, total quantity. And the last one will be number of states. Press enter and now the next step is to add those icons that we have in this first report. Those icons basically are images that we are importing from our computer. So I'm gonna show you for example one of them how you can import. For example I'm gonna use this icon for states. Let's see how can we do that. We can go to this image option. Let's click on that one and click on this one upload from computer. Now I'm gonna find on my desktop icon that I would like to import is this address. Let's click open and now as you can see it's imported. Also it's important to mention that that uh, image it needs to be in PNG format as you can see here. If it's some other format you will see also the background so it, it's not nice to put uh, that image in, in your report. So let's place this next to this KPI. And now I'm gonna copy all of these that I have here. So let's let's paste them here. Let's resize those. Now we have our KPIs and our icons completed, so we can proceed to those charts that we have below. First I'm gonna insert two pie charts. So let's do that first. You can go to add a chart. From this pie chart section you can choose for example, let's say I'm gonna use this donut chart. Let's place it here. And now we have some values here, but we are gonna change them of course. So let's see what we can use. We can use for metric, we will use sales. And for order ID, let's use for example, let's use segment. So this is nice, now we have sales for each segment. Now I'm gonna modify this pie chart. I'm gonna change style. So to do that, I'm gonna go to this style option here. In this color by section, I'm gonna choose this single color option. And instead of this blue color, I'm gonna choose, let's say, this one. So that way I'm gonna have the same color, but it will be just slight difference. Let's put that border for this chart. Let's click on this add border shadow. And now you will see that we have just little shadow for this chart. Now let's place it like this.
Now let's copy this donor chart. You can just press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. I'm gonna place it here below. I'm, I'm gonna need first to resize this one. Now let's modify our second donor chart. Let's click on that chart and first I'm gonna change values in this chart. I'm gonna keep this metric sales but I'm gonna here choose let's use subcategory instead of segment as you can see we have a lot of categories for this chart so maybe it's better to use bar chart instead of this one so I'm gonna try to use some other metric in this case so I'm gonna use this ship mode instead of that one I'm gonna click again on this chart and I'm gonna this ship mode put here in dimension and now it's much better in this case because we have only four options let's resize this a little bit and now I think it looks much nicer now I'm gonna need to provide title for each of these donor charts actually I can copy this title here and I'm gonna press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V and let's let's change this font size let's put it for example 18 let me see how it will look like Now let's put it on top of this chart, resize it a little bit, now let's copy this one. And I'm gonna paste it here as title for this second chart and instead of segment it will be ship mode now let's continue with our dashboard next one will be line chart i'm gonna insert line chart here on top let me first just move this because we have more space here on top Okay, that's better now let's insert that line chart let's go to this add the chart option and let's find line chart it's actually called time series so let's choose the first one and I'm gonna place it here on top let me see yes let's resize it let's change style for that chart instead of this color I'm gonna use this pink one also for background I'm gonna click on this add border shadow just to have that little shadow for your chart let me resize this one more time now it's perfect now I'm gonna change values for that chart instead of those dates that we have I'm gonna use subcategory so let's see how it will look like and now you are able to see that now this time series chart it's not working so instead of this time series chart I'm gonna need to use this line chart in order to present values that are not date values so let's click on line chart and now as you can see everything is working as we expected so now we can see that we are progressing well now we have completed those two charts on top and now we need to complete three more charts here on, on bottom first i'm gonna change colors for this chart i'm gonna go to this style option and instead of this pink one i'm gonna use for example this gray actually i'm gonna need to use for example this one 
and now it will look better. Now I am going to insert another chart, it will be stacked column chart. So we can go to this bar section and click on stacked column chart. I am going to place it here and resize it a bit. And now we are able to see total sales for each of subcategories, for example phones, chairs, storage and so on. And break down dimension is ship mode. Actually this is exactly that I would like to see in my dashboard. I can just change colors a bit. Let's go to style. In this color by section let's click on this bar order and I'm gonna change colors for each of these values for example I'm gonna change instead of this this blue one I'm gonna put let's use gray for example okay and that's it I don't need to change other colors and I'm gonna also put uh, that that border shadow I'm gonna click on this add border shadow and now we will see for that chart also that nice shadow that, that it has. And we have one more chart to add, it will be a tree map. So let's go to add a chart. Let's find that tree map chart, it's this one here. Let's click on that and let's place it here. Let's resize it a bit. And instead of this subcategory, in this dimension section, I'm gonna put, let's put for example, region. And also instead of this sales, let's, let's in this case use for example profit. So now we are able to see profit for each of these regions. If we hover over this west part here, we will see profit for that region, also for east, south, central and so on. So the only thing that is left to be done is to change colors for this chart. I'm gonna also put for example, instead of this blue one, let's use some other color. Let's try with, with this gray, just to match these other colors. So yes, I'm gonna leave that color in this case and we finally created our dashboard. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you have learned something new. See you in the next videos. Thanks for watching.